नमस्ते नमस्कार नमस्कारम कैसे हैं आप सब पहचाना नहीं जाने की सवेश चेन्नई से I am your storyteller for the evening. I'm going to wait for some people to turn. Ah, one minute. Let me wear my chashma. Namaste. Acha. Sabko sunai de rhi hai. Pakka. Ek thumbs up dikhaiye. Show me some thumbs up. And say yes, you can hear me. Yes, yes. Are you able to hear me loud and clear? Yes. All right. So welcome to yet another session of Katha with Karadi, season three. One ho gaya, two ho gaya, season three. Wow, aren't you all having such fun with so many storytellers, authors, people who've even taught you craft and musicians. Wow, so many lovely sessions, right? Today, I am going to tell you another story. Good to share a story. But listen, जब भी मैं कोई काम करती हूँ ना, उसके पहले मेरा एक favorite god है. Yes, I'd like to you know say hello to him. Hmm, Ganpati Bappa Moria, Ganpati Bappa Moria. आपको भी मालूम है ना? You all know this song. That's right. You sing when during Ganpati. Yes, during Ganpati Puja, you all sing this. So why don't you all sing along? And oh, you want to know what this is? These are called castanets, and it will help me keep rhythm. All right, one, two, three, start. Ganpati Bappa Moria, Ganpati Bappa Moria. Puchavashi Lokariya, Mangalamurti Moria, Ganapati Bappa Moria, Mangalamurti Moria, Moria Re, Bappa Moria Re, Moria Re, Bappa Moria Re, Moria Re, Bappa Moria Re. Ganpati, Ganesha, Vakra, Tunda, Vigna, Harta, so many names. But what a favorite God he is for so many of us. Full of wisdom, always ready to listen to us, always with sharp vision. And today, I am going to take you all the way to Mount Kailash to tell you one of his stories. He has many stories. Chosen one. All right. So, are you ready to travel with me? Let's go to Mount Kailash. Gamapa, sunny pa. Gamapa, re sunny pa. Gamapa, sunny pa. Gamapa, re sunny pa. Ganesha, kubera. Ganesha, o kubera. Ganesha. Kubera, Ganesha, O Kubera. Door, door, Mount Kailash me. There was Shiva and Parvati, very happy with their son Ganesha, who loved playing all around and loved eating. Mother, kuch bhi do na, bas khalete the because he loved food. Of course, his vahan, his vehicle was Mushik. मुझे भी थोड़ा दे दो ना। गणेशा used to feed him also a little bit of मोदक, because you see, मुशेक also loved whatever गणेशा loved, and he used to be always near his feet. गणेशा was happy eating मोदक, and far far away from Mount Kailash was this huge, big palace. This palace was the palace of Kubera. Now who was Kubera? Kubera was the treasurer of gods. Ha ha, gods ke bhi treasurer hote hain. Somebody has to count all the money na. And he was known as the god of wealth. Kubera's palace. Even the gods envied him. What a palace full of gold and silver leaves all over the walls. Marbled tiles, marble floorings everywhere. And 
टेर हिज कॉफर्स का खजाना में इतना सारा ओहो हो सोना चांदी हीरे मोती एवरीथिंग वाज ग्लिसनिंग ओहो हो इतने सारे पैसा ओ बाबा सो मच ऑफ मनी सो मच ऑफ ट्रेजर एंड देन हिज गार्डन चैत्र रथा व्हाट अ ब्यूटीफुल गार्डन दिस गार्डन हैड अ बिग फाउंटेन इन दैट फाउंटेन वाज परफ्यूम्ड वाटर the fragrance aha and then the fruits exotic fruits papaya jackfruit mango grapes banana mango oh, 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 oh. every kind of fruits and kubera sat and he said i have the best cooks ek nahi do nahi teen nahi 500 rasoiyan exactly i have 500 cooks and they can cook any feast for anybody in fact people wait they are on a long queue they all want to be invited <laughs> you know why because they cook the tastiest of food because of fresh vegetables pure desi ghee and then that delicate rice with saffron and spices <laughs> and sweets oh. but kubera said I want my fame to be known all over the universe. All over the universe. He was a little haughty. He said, "What can I do?" <gasps> he thought. He thought, and he got an idea. He said, "I will go to Shiva and Parvati, and I will invite them. The moment Shiva eats, he will tell all the other gods, and then <laughs> that's it." Kubera. He patted himself. You're a genius. And. he sat and he went in his chariot to meet shiva and parvati he came and he stood in front of shiva and he said shiv ji shiv ji main aapke liye ek nimantran laya hu nimantran invitation for what kubera asked shiva i have come to invite you for a feast Please come to my home. I will be very, very happy if you and Parvati ji come and have a feast in my home. Now Shiva, Shiva knew his intentions. He knew Kubera's intentions, <laughs> and he smiled at Parvati, and Parvati smiled back. He said, "Oh ho ho! Ab to Shravan ka mahina chal raha hai. I am on a fast. I am on a fast, and you know." Parvati, she will not eat without me eating. So Kubera's face fell, disappointed. Arey, I have made all preparations. It's going to be the most grand feast of all times. Shiva said, "Wait. I have said no, but do you see who's there?" He said, "Your supputer Ganesha." He said, "Yes. He loves eating. He loves to be fed." Why don't you invite him? He said, "Badiya, bahut hi badiya. Arey, this is even better because if I am able to satisfy Ganesha, my fame will spread." Aha! Ah, ah, and he started dreaming. And then he came back. He said, "Yes." And he went to Ganesha. Ganesh ji, Ganesh ji, I have come to invite you. Ma or Ba, they can't come, but please, can you come? It'll be an honor. It'll be an honor. And Ganesh ji said. <laughs> feast and he rubbed his belly but you will give me whatever i ask you and he kubera said of course i have 500 cooks they are all waiting to serve you <laughs> mushik yeah chale mushik said yeah 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 i also get something now something different so he said all right but i will eat a lot you know that i really love eating Kubera said, "Oh, oh, just come, and then you can see the kind of feast that I will give you." Ganesha said, "Okay." And Kubera went very, very happy. He went back and he went on preparing. He put garlands here, there, and he prepared the Raj Mahal so beautifully and ready for tomorrow. Next day morning, Ganesha, on his vehicle, which was the Mushik, he sat. Gamapa, Sanipa, Gamapa, 
re sa ni pa ga ma pa sa ni pa ga ma pa re sa ni pa a a ha 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 Ah, 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 ah. And he reached Kubera palace, a beautiful golden palace. And Kubera was there, waiting for Ganesha. And as soon as Ganesha came, he said, "Namaste, Ganesha ji. Namaste, namaste. It's 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 really my fortune that you have come here. I'm so lucky. I'm so lucky." Ganesha said, "Hmm." And he. He immediately put some rose water on Ganesha, and he said, "No shit." Okay. And then he put a garland on Ganesha, and Ganesha took the garland, and they started to work. Hmm hmm ha ha ha. Hmm hmm ha ha ha. And Kubera said, <laughs> "Ganesha, what would you like now? Would you like to have some water from the scented?" waterfall here you know it's a fountain but it has water which has been perfumed or would you like to just go to one of my many big rooms and lie on the silk cushions and take some rest or would you like to uh, ganesha said stop 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 kubera i have a doubt is the food not ready why are you asking me all these questions I have come to eat. You know what? I have even skipped breakfast. <laughs> Kubera laughed. Of course, they're all waiting. Please come, please come. And he took him to this big hall, marble flooring, gold and silver leaves on the walls all around, and he made Ganesha sit on a stool which has silk mats and silk cushions all, all the sides. And he said. Musicians, start playing. Acha, music also. Yeah, yeah, musicians from all over the world. Hey, Mary. Hara, start, start. Gari mappa ni sa ri sa ni pa ma gari sa gari mappa ni sa ri sa ni pa ma gari. Acha, ab bhi bajao na, bajaiye bajaiye. Ta kadi mi ta kadi mi ta kadi mi ta kadi mi ta dingi na tum ta dingi na tum ta dingi na. Pa 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 Ganesha heard the music and he waited for Kubera to call the cooks. I want all the cooks here, and all the cooks came and they stood. They were all wearing a turban and they were all wearing their aprons and they were standing there. And Kubera looked at Ganesha and he said, "What would you like to start with? Some soup?" Or some sweets, or maybe some soft and flat bread, or maybe some flavored rice, or some vegetables, some exotic vegetables, or some curries. Come on, Ganesha, tell me. Ganesha looked at Kubera. Kubera, can you please give me a little bit of everything? Everything sounds so delicious. I would like to eat. A little bit of everything. And Kubera said, <laughs> "Of course, of course, musicians, you continue playing and entertaining Ganesha and cooks. Please go. Come on, fast, fast, fast!" And all of them ran to the kitchen. Five hundred cooks, five hundred cooks, straightened their turban to make a feast for Ganesha. Five hundred cooks. Are bhai, five hundred. Five hundred cooks, five hundred cooks, straighten their turbans to make a feast for Ganesha. Make the best, the tastiest, commanded Kubera. Make the best, the tastiest, commanded Kubera. Five hundred cooks, five hundred cooks. Are there five hundred cooks? Five hundred cooks, straighten their turban to make a feast for Ganesha, and they started. Chuk 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 chuk
पगड़ी पहने पगड़ी पहने रसोईया तैयार हुए रसोई में पगड़ी पहने रसोईया तैयार हुए रसोई में दावत खास पकवान खास मेहमान खास गणेशा दावत खास पकवान खास मेहमान खास गणेशा दावत खास पकवान खास मेहमान खास गणेशा देन इट वॉज रेडी एंड ऑल द कुक्स दी स्टार्ट पोरिंग ऑल द डिशेस इन दो बिग gold and silver bowls and they started bringing it to ganesha ha 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 and they bought a big green banana leaf really big one and placed it right in front of ganesha ah kya khushboo thi ah the smells ah ganesha was already <laughs> and he was just waiting and the moment they started serving the food no 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 he put the trunk on the side and started eating no 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 finish it was all over and the cook said oh, oh, oh he had to go and get some more and they went and and they came back and Ganesha ate, continued eating and his belly grew and grew. And the cook said oh this is disappearing faster and they went again and ganesha started eating and he kept on eating and eating and eating and eating and the cooks they were exhausted they said there's no point in putting it in smaller bowls and they took those big drums bade jo vessels the unhi ko leke aa gaye he said there's no point and ganesha took his trunk and dipped it into the porridge and went so go and in one sip oh it was all in his tummy again the other vessel he dipped his trunk no oh kubera continued to watch this and then the head chef comes and said lord kubera there is nothing else now there is no cooked food except for one sack of rice and kubera said bring bring that sack of rice and he brought the sack of rice it was uncooked rice but didn't matter for ganesha because he was hungry he was not at all satisfied he dipped his trunk and he splattered everything all around and then kubera said ganesha ganesha is your hunger and he just moved kubera to one side and he started going into the kitchen the cooks the cooks some of them had fainted they were tired and they saw ganesha coming in and ganesha started eating all the vegetables raw vegetable no 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 he saw the spices no 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 and he saw the ghee and then he went to the cow shed inside the cow shed there were buckets full of milk and he went <laughs> and after that he went to the garden in the garden that fountain he started drinking the water the perfumed water 
and the water level went boom, 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 till it was dry. And then he looked at all the fruits, jackfruit, mango, papaya, banana, grapes, chicken, everything. Everything was over and Kubera fell at Ganesha's feet and said, Ganesha, stop. Ganesha, stop. What are you doing? Why are you doing this? And Ganesha did not pay any attention to Kubera. He went. He went inside and Kubera followed. What is he going to do now? He ripped apart the doors and windows in search of food and more food. Kubera didn't know what to do. Kubera said, I don't know what to do. How? If I don't stop it, I will stop it. If I don't stop it, my kingdom has gone. And he said, all right, I have to go back to Shiva and Parvati. And he went back to Mount Kailash, where Shiva was sitting. And Kubera said, Shiva, please stop your son Ganesha. And Shiva said, what happened, Kubera? Why are you looking so alarmed? What happened? What can I say? He's eating everything. I didn't know he had this kind of a hunger. He's eaten everything, every single food. And now he's, he's wrecking my entire palace. By the time I go back, my palace won't be even there. Please, please, can you do something? <laughs> Shiva laughed at Kubera. So you had no clue about Ganesha's hunger, did you? Tell me something, Kubera. When you came to invite us for a feast, did you invite us to honor us? Or was it because you wanted to show off? You wanted to show off, Kubera. And Kubera hung his head in shame and he said, You are right, Shivji. Aap sahi ho, Shivji. Mujh pe bahut, mujh me bahut tha. I, was, I was really haughty. I wanted the whole universe to know about me and that is why I wanted to invite you. But now please stop Ganesha, do something. <laughs> Shiva said, you've learned your lesson, haven't you? Wait, he took a little, a little pouch which was full of rice and he said, here. And Kubera said, what is this? He said, take this rice and go and give it to Ganesha with all humility. And then see what happens. I will. And when he came back to his palace, Ganesha was at it. He was breaking everything. He was uprooting trees. He was doing all kinds of things. And he fell on Ganesha's feet, Kubera. And he said, Ganesha, please, please stop. I offer you this rice. With all humility, I'm so sorry that I had, I had ahankar in me. I was proud. Mujhe maaf kar dije, Ganesha. Bas, aap ye ek mutti chawal bas le dije. Ganesha took that. Oh, now I am satisfied. I am feeling full actually now. <gasps> Kubera heaved a big sigh of relief. And he and he said, Ganesha, thank you so much for coming. And thank you for honoring us with your presence. And Ganesha looked. But I must say, your 500 cooks, what amazing food they've given me. I will never ever forget the taste of every single dish. That rice, flavored rice. Ah, that modak. Wo jalebi, wo imarti, wo laddu. Bahat hi badiya. Bahat hi badiya. Will you call me next week? Yes. Yes, Ganesha. Ganesha looked at Musha. Chale. I am full now. So Ganesha sat on Mushak and he went back. La la la, 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 la la la. Gamapa, 
Sanipa, Gamapa, Re Sanipa, Gamapa, Magari, Gamapa, Sanipa, Gamapa, Re Sanipa, Gamapa, Magari, Gamapa, Sanipa, Gamapa, Re Sanipa, Gamapa, Magari. And that is the story of Ganesha and Kubera. Ganesha, Kubera, Ganesha, oh Kubera. I hope all of you enjoyed and uh, do you want to sing that song along with me? Do you want to song, uh, sing that song along with me? Let, let, let me know and we can sing that again. I'm just looking at some comments. All right. Would you like to do the 500 cooks? Do you want to do that just one more time? It's so beautiful. You know, like all Kara details, this music is so beautifully directed, composed by the three brothers and, the, and a violin. They, uh, they have come up with such amazing tunes and it is, it is haunting, you know, once you listen to it. And that's the beauty. I have to show you that these are the books and they come. This is Kuvera meets Ganesha and the birth of Ganesha. And remember, these are audio books. So you get something, yes, a USB, correct, with the audio. And it's beautiful. You can really get to listen to the narration by uh, the most talented, the most famous Girish Karnar. And you can actually sing along with these beautiful songs. So one last time, can we do the 500 cooks? All right. 500 cooks. Come on, sing along. 500 cooks, straighten their turban. 500 cooks, straighten their turban. Again, 500 cooks, straighten their turban to make a feast for Ganesha. To make a feast for Ganesha. Make the best, the tastiest. Commanded Kubera, make the best, the tastiest. Commanded Kubera, make the best, the tastiest. Commanded Kubera. See, it's so simple. Do you want to sing together now? 500 cooks, 500 cooks, 500 cooks straighten their turban to make a feast for Ganesha. Again. 500 cooks straighten their turban to make a feast for Ganesha. Make the best, the tastiest, commanded Kubera. Make the best, the tastiest, commanded Kubera. And that's how Ganesha taught Kubera a huge lesson. And it is such a beautiful story. Remember, that there is a 40% discount till the lockdown is lifted. There is going to be 40% discount on all the books and this is no exception. And remember, this is an audio book and you must go and place your order immediately. Otherwise, I don't want you to be disappointed, right? And remember, tomorrow at 5.30, there is going to be yet another session by Kriya Shakti. Another story, another format. I don't know. You will have to come in at 5.30 as always and listen and see for yourself a yet another edition of Katha with Karadi. I hope all of you enjoyed the telling today. Um, I thank Karadi Tales for giving me an opportunity to come back to you and share this beautiful story. Ganesha, Ganesha, na na na, na na na, na na na, na 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 na. Gamapa, Sanipa, Gamapa, Re Sanipa, Gamapa, Magari. Stay safe, all of you. Stay healthy. Listen to stories. Read stories. And I think we'll come out of this together soon, very soon. Thank you. Namaskar. Namaste. Thank you so much.